It is 428 and we're here before Colin at Great Adventure. We're here before Colin. We beat him. Yeah. We so we're guys. We get to ride the non coasters. Don't subscribe to Colin with Studios. Yeah, don't subscribe, don't like, don't watch. Just block him. Just block yeah, block block him on all social media. But here we are at Cyborg. Uh interesting thing, Justice League has no more uh, glasses and it's not 3D, so that is an interesting thing that changed apparently this morning, permanently. Hey guys, it's Colin from Hollywood Studios here. We are at Great Adventure for the final day of Coaster Power Hours. It's Thursday, May 26th. We'll see you guys inside the park. Not looking too crowded yet. Unfortunately, El Toro is closed for the day. They're fixing that pothole towards the end of the ride, so hopefully that'll be back up and running soon. But we're gonna go check out Medusa. Supposedly there's been a lot of work done to the sign, so we're gonna go see that. Another absolutely empty Frontier Adventures. I believe Log Flume should be opening very soon, possibly this weekend. And you can also see a sign over there for the Flash Pass Junior, which I was just informed of today. Basically, that's like a Flash Pass that supposedly is cheaper and meant for younger kids so they can get on the rides, like Runaway Train, Log Flume, and other rides that kids can ride. So that's really cool. Great to see them catering more to families. And yeah, we're gonna go get a ride probably on Mine Train. on I just heard it go and here she comes so right here we can see the start of the signage artwork which is being put over here on Medusa seems like that white panel was just being laid so that this could be laid over very easily really cool looking you got the start of uh, Medusa's snakes over here. You got a cactus down there. Exile Canyon. I think that might be a Looney Tunes reference. I'm not too sure. But this is looking really, really cool. You can see, actually, I think this is actually printed on there. So it's supposed to look like it's kind of breaking out, kind of distinct from the rest of the rock. It also looks like the white paneling that was sticking out on both sides has since been trimmed back. So it kind of lines up a lot more now with the sign. Looks Really, really cool, honestly. I can't wait to see the rest of it. I assume that Medusa's lettering is gonna be up here. You can see an extra wood board has been added up there across. So maybe they're gonna have some kind of bigger sign like with Medusa's letters standing out, maybe some kind of light panel. Again, no, no way of telling quite yet, but that looks really, really good. Just got off Medusa. As you can see, it's flying just like it has been all year. Really, really great. I'm um, probably going to go take a look at Toro. Supposedly there's a new sign near the entrance uh, from USA Today. For those of you who don't know, El Toro was ranked as the number one roller coaster by USA Today. Which is really, really cool. So we're going to go check that out. So over here by El Toro, like I said, it is closed. But here is the USA Today sign. This looks like it's a picture from 2006 because of how fresh the wood looks. Can't really see it in the video and I'm looking at it, but there it is. Voted by USA Today readers, best roller coaster. Pretty, pretty cool. Now we're over here on the other side of the park trying to find a food location that's open that you can use your dining pass at since now you can't use your dining pass at Johnny Rockets and Fat Burger, which is proving to be a bit of a struggle. We did get our drinks over at Johnny Rockets. Seems like Johnny Rockets is a lot more uh, dead than it used to be now that you can't use your dining plan there. I wonder why, but yeah, it's been an interesting day so far. Power Hours is absolutely dead, so we're getting a front row ride on Nitro. Just got off of four rides on Nitro, one in the very front row, three in the back row. It's running great. So a whole bunch of enthusiasts. We saw East Coasters, we saw Derail Coasters, a whole bunch of people on the other train. So I'm sure we're going to catch up with them once we get over to Devil. We even saw Ace, but Nitro, like I said, was running great. And we're probably going to go check out Jersey Devil. All of us just got off of Jersey Devil. I rode seven times. How was it? Oh, it was really good. Really fast. I can't believe how fast it was. Five times. How was it? Good. Awesome. 
It's running good. You guys, how was it? Good time. It was good. Running pretty fast. Tyler? It picked up so much speed in the last hour since I rode. It was great. Flawless. Now we're all going to go for a ride on Batman, one of the most intense coasters here in the park. All of us just got off of Batman and you might not see it in this train because they're just cycling this train they're not actually letting people on it they're letting it run for Memorial Day but the other train was flying it is going so fast I grayed out multiple points during the ride Batman's been running incredible this year seems like it got a lot of TLC on top of the new paint so really great to see Batman doing great this year all of us here are about to do a takeover on Dark Knight Scratch that. The trains are stuck on the blocks, which means the ride is down. So we're going to do something else. Now let's do our takeover over here at Skull Mountain. I'm not going to be looking And would you look at that? It's completely empty here at Skull Mountain. Hey, hey Collins Pocket, we're on uh, Skull Mountain here. How was Skull Mountain, James? Oh, uh, we were chanting some interesting stuff. Brian? Good. Brian? It was good. Jack? Ace? Dad? John? Yep. We're over here in the mythical, quiet, dead land of the Jersey Devil, the Pine Barrens. There it goes. We're running pretty fast. There's a bunny. Scared the crap out of me. Oh my. I didn't get to mention this earlier in the video, but there's actually two new signs in Jersey Devil Station. Say warning, do not cross track, ride in motion. Apparently there was a fight here a couple days ago where people did exactly that. So hopefully that'll deter other people from doing that. Ace is out. We're going to get our last ride here on Mine Train. It is creepy quiet. Oh. Well, not creepy quiet anymore. Right now. Yeah, it's not right it's not as creepy quiet. It was. This yeah, park is empty. I mean, it's a little unfortunate that Ka and Tora were close. So we're probably going to end the night out early since we don't really want to marathon anything that's not Toro. So we're going to get our ride on mine train and then that'll probably be it. Just got our last rides of the night on the runaway mine train, which for whatever reason is giving like way more airtime than it usually does. I was sitting in the second to back row over the final hill. I was out of my seat the entire hill. It's it's one heck of a mine train, I will say. It's definitely the most intense mine train out there, but that's gonna about do it for the final power hours of May until summer May. I don't know when they're gonna do powers, power hours again, but I hope it's soon because power hours is easily the best time to visit Great Adventure if you're looking to get on rides with no weight at all. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.